Is data science dying? Is the data science job market saturated? Is it too late to get into the data science field? I see questions like these popping up in my YouTube comments, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and even on Instagram. In this video, I give you my take on if data science is dying or if the field is still on the rise. There are usually three reasons for questions like these. First, people think that the trend of data science is over and people are on to the next biggest and best thing. See, Bob, look around. Food trucks are the future. No, they're a trend. Yes, the trend of the future. Number two, they hear that many data science tasks will become automated. So they think that automation will replace the need for data science roles in the near future. And number three, they think that the number of people who are interested in becoming data scientists doesn't match the demand for data scientists by companies. Before we look into these three claims to see if there's some truth to them or if we can debunk them, let me know in the comment section below if you think data science is trending up or trending down. Before I give my personal thoughts on this, I think it's important to look at the data. I wanna be as objective as I can here. Let's look at some Google Trend information to see if data science is still a relevant topic. Just from looking at the graph, we see that the interest in the field has been pretty consistent over the last five years. We can see that machine learning has also followed a similar trend. Anecdotally, this is a good thing in favor of data science being around for the foreseeable future. There are no sharp upturns or downturns, and this could suggest that data science won't just abruptly disappear in the next couple years. If anything, there would be a slow decline over time, which I don't think that there's currently any real evidence of. When we add AI into the mix, we actually see a pretty clean upward trend. Again, anecdotally, this could be a good or a bad thing. Oh my God. Okay, so yes, fine, there's a bit of a trend. The good news is that in terms of the AI projects that are out there, mostly data scientists are working on those. If that continues to be the case, this bodes well for data scientists. On the flip side, if more specialization is needed to work in AI, data scientists might not be needed as much. At the same time though, data scientists already have a strong skill set to get started on learning more of that specialization. I'll get a bit more into that in a second. After this light analysis on the trend, I'd mark this as a tentative point for data science staying around. I personally think that the use of data for decision making is not a trend. To me, it is a common sense practice that is around to stay for essentially forever. No matter what you call it, data science, data analysis, etc., I don't see it going away anytime soon as long as the mission is to inform decision making. AutoML, no code, low code tools, and big data platforms become increasingly popular in the last few years. Many people believe that advances in these tools will replace much of the work that data scientists currently do. The robots are coming, the robots are coming. Is there any validity to this claim? I think the best thing we can do is look at other similar fields to see if technology has truly disrupted them. One that I always go back to in this circumstance is accounting. There's been technology to replace almost all of the work that's done in this field. However, there's still growing demand for accountants and auditors. I personally used to use TurboTax for my accounting. It's a great self-service product at a pretty fair price. Even though I could do my taxes on my own, there was still much that I didn't understand. I work with an accountant now because they have special specialized knowledge about my exemptions, my credits, and the IRS. Also, as my businesses and my income streams become more complicated, it just gets overwhelming for me to do myself. I view the data science role the same. Even if tools help anyone to do the analysis, will this person be comfortable interpreting the results? Will they be able to understand the limitations of the models that they're using or the potentially weird results that they're getting? Another case study would be web developers. In theory, there are graphic user interfaces that allow you to build a website on your own that looks pretty good. But web developers are still in high demand. Making unique customizations to website is difficult even with the best self-service no-code tools. Companies have significantly more control over their websites and products when they're coded or done in their own software stack. For the foreseeable future, automation is great for solving problems at scale, but they struggle with very specific solutions and unique customizations. For someone creating a website for their business in their garage, this is great. Yeah, I created a website. But for a Fortune 500 company, almost all of the automation tools will be limiting. For better or for worse, data science is very much about edge cases and unique analysis. While AutoML could be great for getting basic models, the nuance in the data will still require the eyes of someone with real data science and subject area expertise. Both accounting and web development have been around for far longer than data science, and the technology to disrupt them has also been around for far longer. These fields are still thriving despite of the new tools, and I expect that data science will as well. In fact, new tools could make data science work more valuable. Tools that allow us to explain insights more easily to stakeholders would be a godsend. While I don't think new technologies will diminish the need for data scientists, I do think that the role data scientists play could possibly change. All right, you know what, look, um, I have an idea. 
We'll adapt. Rather than investing large amounts of time training models, a task that I think AutoML does pretty well, I think data scientists of the future will be spending more time doing three things. The first is focusing on exploratory data analysis. This is a task that I don't believe AutoML really does handle that well. It struggles with it a bit. Number two, explaining how the models create value for the business, potentially more in like a business consulting role. And number three, implementing these models, something a bit closer to what a machine learning engineer does. The last area of scrutiny is the data science job market. Will there be data science jobs in the foreseeable future? First, let's look at some data. I think that just about everyone agrees that data science should be a part of almost every company that's out there at this point. It's a clear way to find value in business. Still, according to MicroStrategy's research in 2020, only 57% of enterprise organizations use data and analytics to drive strategy and change. This says to me that there's still a long way to go in terms of data science adoption. Many people look at Google, Amazon, or other big tech companies and think that all data science must be on the cutting edge. Maybe those companies will slow down hiring data scientists in the next few years, but there are thousands of other companies that will be in dire need of data scientists as they continue to mature. This data maturity process can take years, possibly decades in some organizations. Again, this suggests to me that the demand for data science jobs will be around for quite some time. There's a staggered effect of as companies mature, they need data scientists. I actually don't think that we've hit the wave of real demand for data science jobs in the average company yet. MicroStrategy also found that 95% of employers said that data science and analytics skills are hard to find. As a job applicant, this is really good news. If this many companies believe that your skills are scarce, there's probably gonna be a lot of demand. Actually, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the US, the data science and computer information research field is expected to grow by 22%, I think that's per year, from 2020 to 2030, which is 3x the rate of the average profession. An even more fascinating figure is that according to DICE's 2020 tech job report, data engineering roles are growing at an even higher rate of 50% year over year. This to me is an incredible thing for the future of data science. Data engineers enable data scientists to do their work to the best of their ability. If companies are hiring many roles upstream from data scientists, they're likely preparing to invest heavily in data science in the future. I believe that this data suggests that the demand for data science jobs is clearly growing. What about the supply side though? How many people are looking to enter the data science job market? Well, I don't have a perfect estimate of this. I wish I had better data. We can go back to Google Trends to explore if data science jobs are increasing in interest. From the pattern, it looks like people searching for data science jobs has stayed pretty static over the last five years. I expect there's been some increase in demand that's not being shown here, but it looks like the supply of data science applicants isn't quite as great as many people believe. If the demand is clearly increasing and the supply of people looking to get in isn't quite growing at the same rate, data science opportunities could actually become easier to land over the next 10 years. So from the analysis, I think it's pretty clear, at least for me, that data science will be around for quite some time. I can't help but ask, but where does the sentiment this field is declining coming from? Comment below if you can think of why that might be. My expectation is that a lot of this comes from the lack of definition around data science and the domain itself. Companies are still struggling to define the role and how it differs from a data analyst, a data engineer, and a machine learning engineer. I think that people get confused by this nomenclature and they forget that all of these positions are still working under the broader umbrella of data science. I hope that this video helped you to think about the future of data science in a different way. And I encourage you to do your own research about this topic and what's right for you and your career. I obviously love this field and I'm excited to see it grow. Now, doing research on this one, I actually learned quite a bit and I'm happy I could share it with you. If you learned something as well, please like the video. And if you want more videos similar to this, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted when I post another video. Thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.